guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Rose Moonlight channel. So today we're here with another empties video. And um, like I said before, I love to use my you know, products and I use them up and I also use them in my samples. I don't just keep them stored. I actually do go through them and yeah, so let's get started. So here we have, let's go with the blues things. I always got, like to get rid of those first. So here we have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil strengthening and grow and restore shampoo with shea butter and apple cider vinegar. And it's pretty neat up right now. I don't know if it's kind of gross, but there we go. <laughs> and um, I did like this. Um, at first, I really liked the scent, and eventually I got tired of it. And that's what usually happens with me. Like, if it's such a big bottle, then I got, get tired of it. So I usually have like two going on, like I use one, and then I get the other. I'm kind of like going back and forth between them, so I don't get bored too often. By the way, let me know how that lighting is working out, because like, I noticed that my videos were a little bit really dark, um, you know, a little bit darker, like I needed more lighting, so I know if this is working out, how, how it looks, I don't know. So, yeah, <laughs> just letting you know. Um, but yeah, I would, re I actually, I have, I'm trying to finish up the mask, the hair mask. Um, it's just taking me a while, because I don't, don't use it that often, it's maybe like once or twice a week, um, if that. Uh, yeah, so I liked it. I probably won't repurchase just because I didn't really see much of a like a growth and strength or anything. So, you know, it's just then another shampoo. Alright, let's see. And I have here a Victoria's Secret Ultra Rich Cream Body Wash, and this is the coconut milk, and I absolutely love these. I, don't, I think I've done, um, I've shown some of these before, but I absolutely love these. These are like the best body wash I have ever tried. And I am, I'm not a beauty person. I just happen to have, get these like on a sale. And um, I picked them up and I got them for like $4 and they retail for like $18 each. And these are like so creamy and they smell wonderful. I think my favorite is the Passion Flower. it on your body and you come out of the shower, it feels like you already have lotion and oil on your skin and that you don't even need to apply lotion or anything else on your body because it already feels so hydrating, it lathers wonderful, it has a scent, so when you walk out of there you still smell really good and I love smelling good, so I would definitely recommend this. Whenever there's a sale, I like to go and stock up. Um, Sorry, I'm a little sick. So sorry if I like <clears throat> take a little time. So yeah, I really enjoy these. Definitely recommend them. And then here, let's see. I have some like wall flower stuff, like home stuff. So these are the Glade plugins. Like um, this one's the Cashmere Woods, and I finally finished the pack. I know it's a little gross, but whatever, you know. It is what it is. So this is a cashmere scent. I absolutely love this, especially for this winter time kind of thing. It gives me like a very warm vibe and it makes my room smell really good. I put them in the bathroom as well. Um, but primarily just in my room, just so my room smells nice and cozy. So yeah, that's it. Finish these out. And then here I have this um, <clears throat> Maria Badescu Skin Care Rose uh, Water. This is the... Uh, um, the one with the Loe herbs and rose water, four ounces, and these are fairly inex uh, expensive. They're like four or seven dollars. I think it's seven dollars over at Ulta, and I love these. I have already purchased this, this before. Whenever I have a chance and I finish the ones that I do own right now, and I finish those, I will repurchase this bottle. These are so good. I love it. So refreshing, especially when it's like a hot day. I like to pop this in the fridge. And like it makes it nice and cold, and like it wakes me up in the mornings. So I love this. Definitely recommend. Let's see what else do I have here. Okay, so I here I have a small toner. This is from the Go Away, <clears throat> Go Away Gloomy Day, by the. Let me see. I can't see what it's up. Mm. I'm not 
sure what the brand is, but there we go. And it's a tiny bottle. It was fine. Nothing miraculously miraculous. I just put this in the morning, put it all over my face after I wash my face like a toner. And, you know, I didn't really notice anything, so I would not go and purchase anything out of my way. But again, it's a small sample, so... <clears throat> and then here I have the Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting, and this is the... Um, it's supposed to be a concealer with a foundation. And I did like these actually really good. Uh, it was a little bit dark for my skin, but my skin tone. But I did try it just because I wanted to feel had to see how it felt on my face and it left it very like porcelain looking so I was like Clinique I gotta go check you out I've never tried Clinique before but yes I'm really interested and I would go and purchase something from them and on the same topic about foundations here let me get these two out so this is the <clears throat> sensitive um this is the sensitive daily. This is a, like a BB cream, and it's a sensitive skin thing. It's by Dr. G. <laughs> That's a funny name for a doctor, but anyways, it's a small, tiny sample. I got this like at I think it was Bridgebox, and it worked really well. I mean, it has SPF in there. It's a very light tint. I did. I like to use these for work, and it works great for you know going like a light makeup for work and I that's how I use them um it, it was good for sensitive skin I mean I wasn't really like whoa blown away because I'm usually a very like full coverage foundation person I like you know everything really nice and good unless it's like summer or something like that but it was very neutral I, I did enjoy it I would not go out of my way to purchase this though next here I have a <clears throat> Jerleek, um, and this is like, uh, what is this called? Um, smoothing moisturizing cream. There we go. And it's a small little sample. It smelled really good. It was really silky and moisturizing. I did really enjoy this. Um, let's see what else. It was, let me see if I can get it with. It reminds me like of some tea. It smells like tea. Like green tea or black tea. It was it felt good, but um like I said, if I'm not a person who like if I can't find a brand like where I usually go to, like either Target, Walmart, Ulta or Sephora, I'm not gonna go and just make a separate purchase for that. So I haven't seen this anywhere else, so I don't know. I think I was rich box. It was fine. And then we have here two mascaras. I have the Mad Lash. This is by The Balm. And it's a black mascara. And I, it was okay. It was not one of my favorites. Just because it's so weird. Like, I kept poking my eye with this type of wand. You can see. It's kind of curved and pointy. So I kind of kept, like, you know, going in there. It was just, I don't know. I did not really like this at all. Um, yeah, I... That's one reason. And the second, it smells really bad. It smells like really fermented or something. And I just kind of irritated my eye a little. So, no. No go for me. So, not recommend. And then I also have the Katy Perry. Katy Cat Eye. Well, that's what it's called. It's for the cover girl one. And this was... This is a huge, by the way, container. And the brush was not bad. Much better than obviously the balm one, but you know, it was just like it felt like it clumped up a lot. So like I would apply it and then quickly, you know, it clumped up. And like usually with some other ones that I've used, I can go ahead and, you know, give myself like a couple layers and it doesn't clump up on me. But this one just like is is not that great. And then here I have the Gimme Brow and uh, by Benefit, it's a tiny little sample, and I love this. This was great. It just is so easily to apply, just like, ch -ch -ch, and bam, eyebrows. <laughs> so I was really happy about that. It was really good, especially, you know, for something quick and you want to make it a little bit more bold. 
and it was just the perfect shade for me. It wasn't too dark. It was just right. And I really appreciate this and how it made me look like fuller eyebrows. And I like this. So I definitely would have purchased. And I think I have another sample. So I'm going to wait till I finish that. And then I'm going to go and repurchase this. So I love it. And then here we have this Smashbox um, primer oil. And of course this looks different. I actually took the this little dropper from another oil thing that I had and I put it on here just because it was easier for me to, to use so I used this and this primer oil was really nice I did like it it lasted me a very long time a couple months because you know I'm not gonna use this just you know bathe myself in oil so I just put a little bit of oil and it helped with my dry patch patches on my skin and I like to mix it with foundations that are drier or like mattifying ones so like the one that I was using was um the Urban Decay All Nighter and the Kat Von D those ones are very mattifying so I like to put in a couple of drops onto my beauty blender and then I would go ahead and dab them you know along with the foundation and it just make it look so much better and more dewy especially since I have like very dry skin so I, that's what I like to do with those and it helped a lot otherwise I felt like my skin without nothing else it would be like ugh, like it would hurt to even move because it was so drying those like foundations so that is how I use it and I did enjoy this and if I ever finish all the stuff that I have for my face and primer as well I would definitely repurchase this it's really good and then let's go on to some little makeup remover wipes so here I have the NOLA uh, luxury oil infused moisturizing wipes and it's supposed to have coconut oil I got these at the local Ross and holy moly these sucked <laughs> I mean I'm always open to purchase items you know and try things out because I'm never like settled at one point you know with with a certain product and so I, I try to give this a try but like this thing just sucks it smells really bad it smells like like old rancid nuts <laughs> or something and whew, that's that's really bad um it did not remove any makeup they barely moisturized like it looked like they had nothing like to even help you cleanse your your face um it didn't move anything it just kind of like smidged smudged makeup around so i was not happy would never repurchase these again nope and then, of course, here I have my favorite Ultimate Ponds Makeup Remover Wipes, and these are the original Fresh, and I absolutely love these. These are my number one go-to makeup remover wipes, and I always go back to these. Like, I have a huge stock of them, but I always, like, try new ones, so I'm like, I have both of these, like, one month, and I, like, I have this, and then another one to try out. So, I love these. We'll always repurchase these. Highly recommend these. Like, highly okay next one here I have a couple more sheet masks um, here I have the honey deep moisturizing mask by Annie's way and this one is um, a very nice hydrating one it's not it's not something like amazing it's just hydrating there's nothing else to it you know it's good it had some it was really nice and drenched it it felt good on your skin but nothing miraculously different than the others as well as this one this one is the beauty friends 2 the roller jelly um sheet mask and like i said nothing different just moisturizing and hydrating um it didn't have a honey scent if you need to know that it's just doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like anything just that it wasn't wowed the ones that i was um really and uh, that I really enjoyed was this angel looks one and this one you could definitely see a difference my skin was not red it it was like very hydrated very plump and very good looking in the morning and I loved how it felt and this one like I don't know I just it really looked better and but I, I think this I am um, angel look loca something like that it's a brand but that one highly I recommend this if you see it just pick it up it's good and then I have this um, Winage Hyaluronic Acid Sheet Mask. And of course, this is very nice. It's a moisturizing sheet mask. 
and it felt amazing. I love to put these in the fridge. You should try it sometime. It smells really good and it makes your skin feel really awesome and very fresh for it. And yep, I highly recommend this. Um, and that is it for this empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any ideas um, for future videos. If you had any similar products or recommend any products, I'm more than happy to try these out. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and um, so I can keep making more videos. Thank you guys. Bye.